Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a freeze frame effect in Camtasia 2020. All right, so I recently did the freeze frame effect on some funny videos of my parents. I'm going to play it here for you and explain how you can be using the freeze frame effect in your videos. Do the dancing. <laughs> All right, so that was basically my parents playing with my sister's new uh, DJ equipment. But anyways, to show you guys the freeze frame effect, you'll notice that there are two videos. This is a video and this is a video, but they are not playing at the same time. So the video of my dad played first and then the video of my mom played second, but the video of my dad, it froze afterwards. So they basically alternated. And how you do that is the freeze frame effect. If you didn't have the freeze frame effect, then they would either play at the same time or they would play one after the other. But I specifically wanted both of these images of my parents to show up on the screen at the same time and then for one to play and then the other. So this is what the final looks like and you'll notice here there is a sort of like a stitching going on and then it's like blank here and then it's blank there. That is the freeze frame effect. So I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to just reduplicate it here. So I'm going to pull this down here as if we were starting it from scratch. And then here's the video. I'm just going to chop off this beginning part. And then this is the video of my mom. And you can see that if I place them on top here, the two videos, right? If I do that, they're going to play at the same time, right? If you, if you just start playing it. Are you doing it? <laughs> so you're going to have two audios mixed together and then it's just, it's just not going to flow the way I wanted it to. So I wanted my dad's video to play first and then my mom's. And so if you, if you line it up accordingly like that, then you can see here that it will just play one, leave a blank space here, and then the other one will start playing and then my dad's video will go away. So to fix that, you do freeze frame effect. This is how I did it. So the first one, my dad's video is fine. It plays up until this point here at the end. But I need it to keep going with the quote unquote freeze frame so that my mom's could play, but his picture still show up on the screen. You want to choose the exact area where you want to extend the frame. And to move frame by frame on your keyboard, you can either you take your mouse and place the exact frame that you want. But I usually like using the keyboard and that's the comma and the period key. It'll allow you to move frame by frame. So what I actually did is I went to the very end of this video, the very last frame. And I chose that because I wanted it to seem like, like the video froze at that moment. So at this point, you would right click on your media and you would go extend frame. So from here, it, it has one second so far extended, but I want it to extend for the entire duration of my mom's clip. Now you can go like this and actually just click it like that and click OK. So I extended it for six seconds. Looks like I need a little bit more. So I'm going to right click on it and go back to duration. And you see it was at six seconds. So I'll go for seven and click OK. And now from here, I can actually go back down a little bit because it's not exactly six seconds and it wasn't exactly seven seconds. 
you can see that it's 6.2, but I wouldn't know that exactly. So that's why I did seven seconds. And then after that, I cut it down. So from here, now I need to, we've got my, my dad's footage all um, done up. And you'll see here when I play here at the end of the video, you see my dad has frozen there. That's the extended freeze frame, the frame that I chose to extend. But now we need to do my mom's and have hers actually extend as well, but the other way. So I'm going to find a frame here in the beginning. We'll choose something like here. And then I'm going, it's right at the end. I'm going to right click and then extend frame and then probably at least 10 seconds I'm thinking so let's go 10 and then I'll move it over almost I think one more second will be needed so I'm gonna right click again go to duration one more second and then match it up here at the end and then there's a little bit extra of the freeze frame so I'm just gonna bring that down so that both of these clips are happening at the same time so now you can see from the beginning when I play it do the dancing <laughs> that's playing my mom's still frozen and then my dad's gonna freeze and now my mom's video plays and so that's pretty much it for the freeze frame effect some other things that I did was I made the videos slightly bigger and I just sort of moved them in place and then I did something like that and that's kind of what you see here for this video and then you know I posted it on my Facebook and on my Instagram and it looked really cool. So that's an instance where you would use the freeze frame effect in your videos when you have multiple videos that you want them to play individually that's when you would use this freeze frame effect. So I highly recommend trying this out in your videos and if you guys like these kinds of videos I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course, over 70 lectures that you guys can get two months free access to down in the description below. I highly recommend checking this out if you want to accelerate your Camtasia learning. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.